Greetings, fellow nerds. Hi, it's Tiffany, and welcome to another episode of Adventures with the Geeky Baker. Um, I have a little friend who is going to be helping me out on this fantastic adventure today. If you haven't guessed what we're celebrating, well, let me tell you, we're going to be celebrating May 4th, a fantastic day for all things Star Wars. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. That phrase is iconic with this sci-fi film franchise. May 25th, 1977, A New Hope, Episode 4, hit movie theaters for the first time. It's supposed to be a flop, a failure, the workings of a madman. The fates, the galaxy, some might say the force have other plans. Now in 2021, we've got iconic t-shirts, action figures, baking utensils, uh, ice cream sandwiches, theme parks, convention, cosplay, you name it, the Star Wars logo is most likely on it. And in honor of such a fantastic, fantastic, out of this world day, we are gonna be making a iconic weapon, slash street, <laughs> to celebrate the day. We're making lightsabers. Now, we could spend an entire video series on explaining the colors the meanings behind them, whether or not that color is canon, whether or not the legend is canon. Um, and we could go on and on and it would be fantastic. However, um, since this video is can't be that long, we will be just doing the traditional 1977 colors of red, blue, and green. Now, it's a super easy, um, super easy uh, project to do on your own, but I highly recommend doing it with friends, especially getting creative with your fellow geeks and making your own lightsaber to reflect who you are, your unique, beautiful, geeky self is fantastic. So well, however you choose to celebrate this day, whether it is movie marathon, reading comic books, books, uh, trivia night, you name it, have a fantastic time. So let's buckle up, Chewie's about to punch it, and let's get started on another adventure with the Geeky Baker. Let's go. Because of how quickly the melties dry, if you are working alone on the lightsabers, it's best to do one color at a time. Follow the directions on the back of the melties. The directions on the back of the melties I'm using is one minute on 50% power, take bowl out of microwave, give it a good stir. Put back into microwave in 30 second intervals until completely melted. It is incredibly important that you do not, and I repeat, do not overheat the melties. If overheated, they will seize and you will have to start over. Once completely smooth, pour into disposable cup. Pouring into a disposable cup will help to keep the mess to a minimal. Tilt cup until chocolate is to the edge. In a circular motion, move your pretzel stick until three fourths of it is coated. Place onto parchment paper to dry. Repeat this until all of your chocolate is gone. Keep repeating the process until you've done all of your colors. Place all of your pretzel sticks evenly apart and allow them to dry. By dry, you're able to touch without leaving a fingerprint. Next, melt the dark chocolate. Heat at 50% power for one minute. Give good stir. Then heat at 30 second intervals until completely smooth. Once smooth, pour into piping bag. If you do not have a piping bag, pour into Ziploc bag and seal the bag. Snip off the end. Drizzle over the remaining pretzel to create handle. Do this for every pretzel stick that you have. Before dry, place two mini M&Ms on each of the handles. Allow to dry completely. Oh, 
try to. I think that went rather well, don't you? Hmm, I can't agree more. Guys, that is a wrap. Thank you so much for joining us today on this fantastic adventure and celebrating all things Star Wars. On behalf of Temple of Geek, I would love to thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions or comments about today's episode, please feel free to reach out on any of our social media platforms. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook are handled at Temple of Geek. My name is Tiffany Cagle, and thank you once again for joining me on Adventures with the Geeky Baker. And until next time, guys, stay nerdy, lots of love.